Good afternoon, guys. Uh, can you see my little hummingbird friend right there? So cute. I haven't seen a hummingbird around here for a long time. So he is so adorable. Um, I did put up a hummingbird feeder by my house and the dirt storm we had yesterday totally took out the bird feeder. So it's not there anymore, but I'm so excited to see that little guy. He's so cute. And I feel guilty today because see all these echinacea flowers that he was visiting? I'm going to harvest my echinacea today. So unfortunately, he won't have the little echinacea flowers to go to. So <laughs> makes me feel bad, but you know, you got to do what you got to do. So I'll try to, I'm going to have to get another bird feeder because the one that I had for the hummingbirds was totally broken yesterday. So um, here we go again on my, my allergies are driving me nuts because of all of the dirt and the stuff that was blowing around. So, you know, if I look yucky, it's because my eyes are all puffy and I'm congested and <laughs> the fun of living in this desert, I'll tell you, it's not so much fun anymore. <laughs> so let's get this echinacea harvested and uh, I'll show you what I'm doing here. Okay, here's my echinacea plants. And look at the beautiful blooms, lots and lots. So I'm unfortunately I'm going to have to cut these off. Um, they will come there. Some will come back up. I will get more flowers because I see a lot of uh, buds in there still. But I need to get this harvested before all my flowers die, and um, I'll leave a few for the little hummingbird. So let's get these cut. What I'm going to do is, uh, for example, on this one. I'm going to cut right about there and uh, still leave quite a stalk down there as you can see. I'm not going to cut it real short. Uh, some people cut them down to uh, below the last set of leaves, which could be almost down to the dirt, about three or four inches above the dirt, but I don't like to go that far. Um, Oh, my dog scared me. I thought I heard something back there. Um, so I'm just going to cut them. Just, I'm going to leave about, oh, maybe six or eight inches above the ground before I cut them off. Because you can use the flowers and the leaves to make the echinacea that you need. I'm going to be making echinacea tea. I'll show you how I do that. And I'm going to make some echinacea tincture. And I'll show you how that goes too. So let me get these cut and I'll be right back with you. Okay, here's the bucket of echinacea flowers and stems and leaves that I have picked. So it's a five gallon bucket full. I've got it jam full. Um, I think this is gonna be all I'm gonna harvest today. And as you can see, there's a lot of echinacea left on here. And uh, I'm getting inundated with bees. I've been lucky that I haven't got stung yet. <laughs> but, but there are a lot of bees <clears throat> that come into my herb garden about this time of day. And uh, these little guys are busy. Here's one. Oh my goodness, that's a funny looking bee. I've never seen one like that before. Oh, 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 okay, he's a little aggressive. Um, I'll come back here, but the bee was all green with uh, yellow legs. I've never seen one like that, but other than the coloring, he looked like a regular bee. Very odd, I've never seen that. So anyway, here's what I'm leaving. <coughs> Excuse me. And I will be back and get the rest. Okay, I have brought all the echinacea inside. I have washed it, and um, which basically is giving it a good rinse to make sure there's no dirt or bugs or anything in it. And I cut the flower heads off of the stem right behind the flower head. Right behind the flower head. And I've taken all the leaves off and I threw this, 
the stems away. I don't use the stems. I know some people do, but um, I prefer not. I just use the leaves and the flowers. So I've loaded the dehydrator with it. And there's uh, one, two, three, two, three, four, five. It filled five trays of the echinacea. And it's ready to dehydrate. So I've packed it all in there the flowers and the leaves and uh, let's plug it in and it's going to go for 10 hours at 115 degrees and then I'll show you what we do after okay guys um, I'm here in my kitchen now and we have dehydrated um, all of the echinacea that I picked yesterday so what we're going to do is oh that smells good um take the tray of dehydrated dehydrated echinacea um tray by tray i'm going to dump it out here on this white cardboard making sure that it's actually all dry good And you always make sure that you wash your trays really well after you use them because you don't want any of residue from whatever you're dehydrating to get onto your next item. So these will be washed in soapy water with a little bit of bleach to make sure that I've killed all the germs or anything that may not really germs but any residue from the echinacea so that when I dehydrate my next item um, it's nice and clean and purely for that. So set that over there. And here's the echinacea that I dried and that's out of the one. And I dry one tray at a time because I don't have a huge um, blender. But I put it in my blender and I just dump it in like this. Clean up my leaf I dropped. Okay, and let me get a jar. Okay, I'm going to. I've got my first batch in the blender, and I've got uh, four more trays to go. And I'm going to blend this up, and I'll show you what it looks like. But um, I don't want to have have you guys lose your hearing because this is very loud. So um, I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's blended up. Okay, now that I've blended the echinacea that I had in the dehydrator, and you can see that it's all chopped. I didn't blend it. I should say I chopped it. And that's the flowers and the leaves, and I have two jars here. And that was in the... Uh, food processor, I, well, blender, food plus processor, whichever you want to call it. Um, and I chopped them up, and I have two small jars. So what I'm going to do, these jars are going to go to put in tea bags for echinacea tea. So I'm going to use all of that for the tea. And uh, let me show you how I do Okay, these are the tea bags that I use. These are the larger ones because I like the uh, larger tea bag. It makes the tea quicker. Um, you can get them in various sizes, small, medium, large. I like the large because I usually have a large cup of tea <laughs> and I like it to, uh, I like it a lot. I like it to be really strong, so I use the large tea bags. And what you do.
is you just open them up like this. And you can get these tea bags um, online or you can get them at Walmart. Some dollar stores carry them. Um, they're pretty inexpensive for like a bag of like 300 like this is only like a dollar fifty or something like that. They're very inexpensive. So to make my tea, I'm going to dump some of this out. Just enough to show you. And flowers, flowers and all, go in my little tea bag. And I just take a spoon and scoop it up until my tea bag is full. I always make sure I put a few flowers in each bag along with the tea leaves. And you pack it in your tea bag like this. Put some leaves in there. And you fill your tea bag up. You don't want to pack it too tightly, but you don't want to have a lot of space. And uh, those little flowers can be sticky. Um, so I just Pull string, it's a drawstring, shut my tea bag. And you tie it a few times. And there you go, a bag of Echinacea tea. And I just uh, put those into a jar and save them in my cupboard. So that's what I do with my with these, what I'm going to do with these. And I'll set this aside for a minute. just keep them in the jars until I get the tea bags, get ready to make the tea bags. I'll get that done later today, but that's um, a tedious process, I have to admit. Um, it takes a little while to fill the tea bags, but to have fresh e echinacea tea is so worth it. So we're going to set these over here for now in uh, my little funnel right there. And I wanted to show you but this has been sitting for a while. If you want to make tincture, you put it into a jar. If you're about three quarters of the way full or half full, whichever you prefer. Um, I like to really pack mine. And so you just put the um, leaf into a jar. You pour vodka or Everclear alcohol and you fill it up to like the bottom of the brim. And then you just let it sit. This has been sitting for a while. Um, but you just let it sit for about six weeks and the alcohol will uh, suck out all of the uh, nutrients and the medicines that's in the echinacea leaves and the flowers and it makes what you call a tincture and you let it sit for at least six weeks in a cool dark place you always want to keep your herbs in a cabinet or uh, a cupboard somewhere where it's dark and it's cool I have a uh, prepper storage room that I keep all my medicines in because it's cool in there constantly and it's dark. And you don't want to expose your medicines to the light any more than you have to. 
So I just wanted to show you this. This one um, is still brewing, um, and it gives you this really dark, rich color. Um, so this one is still making. This is my echinacea that I have already drained, and you get this dark liquid. And this is the finished product of echinacea. It's uh, you strain all of the uh, pulp and stuff out of the liquid, and I use a cheesecloth, put it over top of a jar, and strain it through so that you just get the pure liquid. And this is the tincture, and this is echinacea tincture, is what it looks like. And uh, you can use this for whatever medicinal purposes that you need it for. Um, I use this a lot uh, when I have colds, flu, sore throat, anything like that. You want to keep it sealed tightly because you don't want anything in it. And that's my echinacea. I hope that all made sense to you. Um, that's the way I process my echinacea. Thank you so much, everybody, for coming by and checking out how I make my echinacea medicine. Um, it's pretty simple. It's a little time consuming, but it's not difficult. Anybody can do it. Um, you can do that same process with pretty much any medicinal herb. Uh, some are a little bit different, but basically that's how you do it. Um, so thank you for coming by. I really appreciate it. And you guys have a great day. And God bless you all. Stay well. Bye-bye.